Hello and welcome back to session 9 of the Battlegrounds Europa Universalis Massive Multiplayer. And I am joined by the wonderful Iggy. Hello. Of which I forgot to check your sound, but you sound quite quiet to me, so I'm just going to boost you up a little bit. Yeah, okay. Uh, is now is now better? Yeah, probably. We'll, we'll see on the actual recording. Turns out like you just deafened me or something. Right, so where were we? Ah yes, just a quick rundown. Prussia, he's uh, quit out. Netherlands, as you saw at the end of last session, has quit out. Persia has gone into a South American tribe. <laughs> and we'll see how long he survives. So yeah, so that is the world at the minute. Oh, and uh, Yemen is not here, but he has claims for protection. So. Alright. So what are we looking at? Savoy is back. He has spent... He had one one replacement. Got him a bankruptcy. That was about session... Is he bankrupt now? Session 3 or session 4. He then had another replacement who went bankrupt three times. He then had the AI... Who took him bankrupt, lost all his vassals, and yes, he uh, got severely oh, he fucked. Vassals? He yeah. doesn't have his vassals. Uh, and he's still under bankruptcy for another four years. <laughs> oh dear. But he says he's gonna rise from the dead like a glorious phoenix. I wonder if uh, Granada will, uh, you know. Maybe conquer the lawn because it's no longer vessel of Savoy, so yeah. Or has he got, or is he just gonna go straight to war with Savoy? Oh, yeah, that, that actually might be true. He's got a 21k army, he's not under bankruptcy or anything. Savoy, bankrupt, 3k, 4k army, and Savoy hasn't got any allies. In fact, how far off is Granada from forming Al Andalus? He needs two. He needs British provinces, I think. He needs three provinces of Savoy. Yeah, and he needs to take some provinces from Britain. Too. Yeah, so he needs one province of Britain, I believe. Two, uh, three, actually. All of the. Fall no, he only needs. He needs, I'll, he needs one of the two in Portugal proper. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. And then he needs Sevilla. So what he's, is he's allied with Ching. Yeah, Ching and oh, no longer. Well, that that was interesting. Scary. So yeah, we've. Uh, I got some complaints off the older player that I wasn't giving him enough screen time. Him and Ching. And I told him, well, that's because they haven't been really doing much. Yeah, it was only, uh, I think the session before, it was only like AI wars and stuff like that. Yeah, so let's have just a quick rundown of Ching. So he's gone for, ideas-wise, offensive, economic, quality, innovative, and plutocratic. Some really solid and good ideas there. Policies, he can get some really good, ooh, play war. Inca has no sea bead. <laughs> Manny. <laughs> Manny was such of a threat. The Inca player saw what he did in Persia and thought, no, I cannot have this here. And has gone for the Incan War of Aggression. That's some gamey stuff right there. <laughs> Inca's actually losing in a battle. What? Inca's just lost in a battle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't against his troops, it was against uh, Manny's allies, but still. He can just build mercs. <laughs> and, you know. And this is a war for 13 dev province, so, you know, it's that's what you want to take them stab hits for. Uh, can he card that, though? 
Uh, yeah, you should have Glen Orb. You should have a Corrin range on it. If not, you can always snake across. Right. Anyway, I should probably get back to having a look at Glorious Odor. Inca's technology is not looking so well, actually. Yeah, Inca compared to Maya, the tech differences is very drastic. But I don't think they would fight uh, each other like uh, did I? I like the the Maya player told that he's not going to fight uh, yeah it doesn't really make much sense for Maya to he's basically said he's going for Europe his economy is so good like 118 uh, ducats yeah and uh, 28 ducats of that is from uh, gold yeah that 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 might collapse and but he's managing to keep his inflation low which is pretty good did he took economic idea oh yeah he did oh yeah oh yeah if you're uh You've got a lot of gold mines, you need to take economic ideas for that uh, yearly inflation reduction. He can actually see Europe, that's interesting. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah, he can see a bit of Europe. So, back to Oda. So, Oda's got a fairly decent income, to be honest. 89 ducats, not too bad. He also has, like, definitely two gold mines, if I would check. Yeah, he should do it. I believe they get them yes, through yeah, events. Uh, so his he income is 89. So he's only below Livonian Order, Maya, Nagpur, Great Britain, Cologne, and Ajuran. So he's fairly reasonable income, to be honest. And I mean, those Order ideas are bloody incredible. Oh yeah, the land fire damage, goods produced. Core creation cost, yeah. land leader Morale, shark. Infantry, infantry combat ability. Leader siege, tech cost, manpower, I wonder if, leader if fire. If he's going to go for the 20% infantry combat ability. Oh, uh, innovative and quality he can means yeah, he can. Yeah. Oda is going to be the Prussia of the East. And also, how's Nagpur doing? They were a personal favourite of a certain Lambert. And, well, what am I looking at? See, ideas? Some pretty decent ideas there. He's got a pretty, pretty good army, but when you look at the Nepal to the north, that shit gets scary. Oh, yeah, he, he looks quite well. I mean, Nepal's got better discipline, better morale, better army tradition, a higher force limit. His economy is not that good, though. So Nagpur could oh, afford no. more troops. Yeah, he he can. I mean, at the minute, Nepal's got more troops than Nagpur, and his current troops is over the force limit. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so, Great Britain is currently at War of Leon. They are sweeping oh, so, up yeah. against those uh, vassals. So, Britain will be very big and very powerful. Oh, with the fall of the Netherlands and Prussia, Britain yeah, has a... got dominion over Western Europe, unless somebody can prop up Savoy, which, at the minute, only Mayor is allied to Savoy. So, really, I would probably... Wouldn't be surprised if we have the Balkan League propping up Savoy. Yeah, and uh, Britain might also have Iberia. I mean, he, he can easily kill Granada if he wants oh, to. Oh, yeah. Now Great Britain is very, very powerful. He's 124% oh, yeah. uh, discipline, 93 armor tradition, 6.45 morale. He can have a force limit of 166. He's got an incredible naval limit of 122. He's got land fire damage. He's got cannon damage. Not land fire damage. Uh, infantry combat ability. Cannon combat ability. Yeah. GB is scary. I still disapprove his decision for going to Irish ideas. It's not that good yeah. Compared to Great Britain. Ooh, F. Nepal. 
The poll is getting a lot of separatists. No, I mean, I, he's killing them. Yeah, he, I, he I will. Uh, a problem there. He'll sort that out. And how's the war going for Manny? Oh yeah, Ink is definitely finishing the job over there. Yeah. Yeah. That that was gamey. I I I. I gamey. Yeah, I well, no, fair enough on him. Yeah, it's 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 reasonable, but it's uh, gamey too. Right. Ooh, Great Britain. Are they going to take land off Toulouse as well? I think they can, probably. And Gascony. Ooh. Britain has a lot of aggressive expansion, but it's players now, so it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, that does not matter at all. But, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to be seeing the Balkan League prop up Savoy against the British. Yeah, it might be. Even Cologne might switch sides. I wonder what's gonna, what is Golden Horde doing this session? Going to war with the Balkans or just sitting around? Well, Golden Horde. What's his tech like? Really, he does need to get his admin and diplo tech a bit better. He needs to embrace the institutions. Yeah, I could see him having a session as more of an economic session. Yeah, he's trying is to build up co corruption up, so that's not good. I think he has some loans too. Oh yeah, yeah. He has I could definitely see him spending this to uh, probably eat the carcass of Persia, split that maybe, with Mughals, and just use to, the rest of it to build up. Uh, maybe go to war with the Eastern Powers, still highly unlikely. Oh yeah, that is. He, he's going to need that economy first, and he's going to need yeah. to secure. A non aggression pact with the Balkan League if he wants to go east. Yeah, true. Now, Cologne will. Mo Wait, can Cologne form Russia if Russia dies? Yes, but Cologne will need to uh, go to war with Livonia in order to take, take the provinces. Oh, yeah. Oh, and... Livonia in order can form Russia. Yes. He's probably going to do that. If he can uh, culture shift. Does he need to culture shift? I think. Or does he have to form Kurland and then he can do it? Uh, I'm not sure on how Livonian Order can do it, but I know he, they, they can do it. Yeah, so. um, Germany will look interesting. I, I can't see yeah. that. And also, I have a sneaky suspicion that a certain Romania, if we look at the culture map mode, might be wanting to go... Is gonna be going a certain Polish way. Wallachia. Wallachia is gonna be turning into Poland. He's oh yeah. Currently, he's... culture shift in some provinces. He's thirty six percent. I mean, he could always yeah, just that's, that's far. Polish ideas is great. Oh yeah, a lot better than the Wallachian ideas, but the Wallachian ideas are. Not bad with the extra land leader shark, manpower recovery, discipline, but Not that's really. early game, really. I, I think, uh, but does Poland have good produce modifier? Uh, they only do is... in the age of reformation, it's 33%. Yeah. So, I mean, Wallachia will, with that cavalry combat ability might be good. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he's gone quality uh, so that's going to be another 10% cav combat ability there has he got an aristocratic so he's not going to be going for the full cavalry combat ability now he's got an espionage because espionage gives is it 20% yeah 20% if they go espionage aristocratic now we've got a pause why have we got a pause Oh wow, Mughal economy is actually really good, but he's paying, he's getting paid a lot of subsidies from Azura. Oh wait, did Langjang drop? Ah, Langjang dropped, that's why. Alright, Mughal economy. Yeah, he's getting picked up by Ajuran. Ajuran has four, almost 400 ducats, I think. Oh yeah, Ajuran is the bank. Uh, last MP, Kilwa, had pretty much the same, and he was also the bank of that. Oh, damn, that's... 
Yeah, that kill one. He's paying out 50, 85 ducats right, and stuff. Yep. What's that? Continue or do we pause until he uh, who? Lang Zhang. Carry on. Uh, yeah. He's in a war against AI, so. And he's pretty much won it nearly. So, yeah. That's fine. Is he the war leader? Uh, ooh. He is. But. Mm, he's he's coming back now. Yeah, he's just come back online, so. Ejeran went heavily on economy, so he can just oh, yeah. support the wars around him and not do act anything at all, actually. I mean, he went heavily on economy, yet he's still got a very good army. Oh, yeah. And a pretty decent fleet as well. Got he has a huge heavies. force limit. Yeah, yeah he's is he really worked hard on that. Uh, is he 25% on uh, uh, Scar? Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, yes, score-wise, yeah. Uh, Adran, Congo, Songhai, uh, Yemen, Mughals, Fars, Nagpur, Ching, Oda, Nepal. Majpahi, not Nepal, um, and then Inca and Maya are all on 25% score. Oh, 25% less, 75% score. Okay. Yeah, Nepal um, came in halfway through, and so did Lang Chang. So oh, so it's First score. Nation, right? Yeah. I wonder what is that uh, score from Mecca? Is this like. Uh, that's promise? victory card. So the uh, state of Mecca. Is his victory card? Oh, because it says it says it's plus plus one, not plus. Yeah. Uh, so you basically get a monthly tick up to a thousand points, and then oh, after that's... you control it, you then get an additional one point per month from the victory card. All right. So that's because of of age age uh, victory cards, or just is um, that well, that's just how victory cards work in general. Oh. But the settings we've got on means there is a new victory card spawns every age, and it's only worth a thousand yeah. points, and then it disappears. Whereas if it was playing with the normal settings, you would have four victory cards: one of one thousand points, one of two thousand points, one of three thousand points, and one of four thousand points that spawn uh, every hundred years from fourteen to fifty. If you're over 300 development, and they stay for the entire game. Oh, right. So, yeah. But score, 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 score. So, currently, Adjuran is... Got 25% of his score. So, he will be on... Uh, three thousand some three thousand nine hundred. I think that's it. I'm trying to do maths in my head, and I'm failing. So he's still in the lead, and so is Oda. But then Great Britain, Byzantium, Godhorde, all on their heels. Oh yeah. Oh, Azuran actually has a massive lead over Oda. Yeah. So he's. I mean, Adjuran was only, I mean, it was Prussia that was cheating on to him. Uh, yeah, Prussia lost its victory card. Wait, I didn't know he didn't lose his victory card. I wonder if anyone is going to fight Adjuran now, it's the, now if it's number one. Because that was happened mm, to Prussia. Yeah. Thing is, Prussia is more, if you say, oh yeah, Prussia's number one, we need to take Prussia down. People... Are more scared of Prussia with you know the means of Prussian space marines and everything. Whereas if you said, "Oh, adjuran has got you know first place," we need to take Adjuran down. It's like, yeah, we'll do that at the end. Uh, if, if that's if, if that will happen, Adjuran is going to win, doing basically. Oh, he can do. Stuff. I I could see Adjuran winning this now with Prussia yeah, out of it. Or Great Britain. 
Yeah, Prussia or Great uh, Adran or Great Britain. Uh, Great Britain's victory card is enough Jutland, so he would be prudent to take the rest of that as soon as his truce is up, which is in ten years. Because wonder... that victory card uh, is only until seventeen hundred. So everyone should, r and it takes twenty years to fully get the uh, score ticked up. And if you factor in the two years of Corin, you, you know, you're going to want to take that before 75, probably. You're going to want to own it by 75 yeah. if you want to try and, you know, have some, give yourself some leeway in case any rebels occupy it or anything. So. No. Byzantium is cleaning up the release nations. Or nation. Oh, by Persia, yeah. I wonder if Serbia is going to fight Cologne. Well, because I saw him doing something in the save game. Oh, what, looking at Cologne. His troops aren't the best compared to Russia. Uh, I mean, Serbia's. Though he has good morale. Yeah, I saw that last time uh, when Cologne went to war with Prussia. They have very good morale. Uh, so. Seven army tradition. How cheap is it? Bloody hell! So, uh, Serbia just asked me to look how cheap it is for him to uh, do harsh treatment on uh, rebels and it's 8 mil power to do harsh treatment on the Venetian rebels Wait, how, how did he took the 17 mission? uh he, so he, he gets I didn't get any from ideas what is it from again he gets it from the age bonus which is yeah. minus 50% and then I think he took the conquer new states no uh Harsh treatment cost. A, he has expansionist policies uh, modifier it's right an, now. Yeah, expansionist policies, that's it, yeah. So is the, it's the mission or is the... It's yeah, it is the mission. Again. both the... Yeah, both it's of them. the mission. So that's minus 83% he's got. So he can farm absolutism. Yes, really he can. Hard. And he has 50. Yeah, he just needs to pump that absolutism up to 100 to get the maximum amount. And, yeah, which he can do by, I think if you up your strength in your government, it gives you extra. Now, there's a lot of people that has almost no absol absolutism. Mughals, uh, Golden Horse is only 10. Yeah, let's just check that in the ledger. Absolutism players. Serbia is 50, yeah. Because this is something I believe I said last session is nobody was really going for the absolutism. So we have got Serbia, Serbia at 50. Savoy at uh, 40, Savoy at 45. Where do you see absolutism in the ledger? Uh, if you go to the government's page, it's page 3. And then it's on the right hand side. It shows you absolutism and maximum absolutism. And it's also really the admin there efficiency. Is no it's really sad that there's no loan, uh, you know, page and ledger. It, it would be really interesting to look at. Uh, sorry, what was that? Uh, uh, it's really sad that there is no loan uh, page in the ledger, like to see how many, how many, how much loans these people have. Oh yeah, that would be an interesting one to have in the ledger. Alright, let's see if I remember to edit out this hot join. Make make a, you know, Excel page. Yeah, so uh, Serbia's 
at the highest of absolutism. Uh, the highest maximum is Byzantium, though. Uh, yes, yeah, Savoy, Wallachia, Great Britain, Adrian, all go. Getting up there with the absolutism. So, any other. So, the pause at War of Bengal, cleaning up there. Uh. Nagpur's at war with Vijayanagar. Nepal actually has a lot of nations to expand into. Yes, he does. But also Langchang too. Especially now Langchang yeah. did. I believe they did have Changcheng as a puppet. They puppet. had a... Changcheng and they had yeah. Pigu, I think, at some point. Yeah, I believe they had all of these little provinces bordering them were all... Tributary. All vassals to them. So, Auda took them, I think. If I'm not wrong. Or just released. Now, Fars is kind of looking nice. I, I didn't expect that. Fars, yeah. Um, I believe Sergi, the player and mayor, said... I think it was... When Mughals fell. The original Mughals. Yeah. He said, uh, yeah, Fars is dead now. Yeah, it looked like that because Fars <clears throat> was boxed out yeah. between Persia and I mean, Mughals. He's still boxed in, but the alliance with the Balkan League has really kept him going yeah, strong. Yeah, it helped him really much. I wonder what will be the partition of Persia now. I see Mughals taking stuff, Golden Horde. Because they have different, like, they have smaller truces. Um, see, I could see... Mughals wanting the Persia trade node, while Golden Horde goes for the Crimea node. I could see Where's that Golden happening. Card? Uh, Thrace, which is Constantinople. Oh damn! How, how did how did it, how did it end up in there? Is uh, it when uh, Golden boarded. Horde had those four provinces? Yeah, when they boarded Byzantium. That's that's unfortunate. I mean, it can show up anywhere, like the Mughal one is an Astrakhan at the minute. Because they border the Golden Horde and... So it, I think it's set to, you know, either spawn on rivals or on allies. So where is... where is Fars' victory card? Uh, oh, Fars' victory card, yeah, it's... It is losing score that somebody has Mecca to shine. Uh, yeah, that would be because Mecca was previously owned by him. It's been taken right. off him, which now means he loses half of the score it's worth. That's interesting. Right. first part of the session probably will be like no player wars yeah people want to try and go in fact i wouldn't be surprised if we don't see many player wars with all the free real estate to gobble up and oh I mean, great britain has got british france oh so he actually took yeah oh, and he he did a very smart he cut off uh savoy savoy and and I mean, he Savoy vassalized can... Aragon. Savoy can... Savoy can always attack Netherlands when they get out of bankruptcy. Oh my god, those cores that Aragon gives Great Britain. My god. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot of... So yeah, we, you might, we might see uh, Great Britain attacking Savoy. And uh, I don't know, I don't know who will defend Savoy, honestly. <laughs> I don't, at the minute, it's not looking too good for Savoy. He's going to need the Balkan League and probably Cologne as well to back him up. I, I, I'm I thinking if, if, if Savoy wouldn't have had any substitutes, uh, Savoy would be better right now. Oh, like, if Savoy didn't have any substitutes, we probably wouldn't see Great Britain as powerful. We probably would yeah. be seeing a dead Granada and maybe even Prussia still alive. Yeah, because they were allies and... Juan really, I don't, I, I don't want to say anything bad, but it really changed. Then it's best not to say anything. Stuff. Yeah. 
but uh, yeah, I believe that if Edward didn't, I mean, even last session when he left it to the AI, if that didn't go on, then yeah, yeah. Oh well, we'll see what you can salvage from this. And did I just see a province switch? I just see. Did that province in Bulgaria switch over to Byzantium? What? Yes. Actually, yes. Wait, what? Stopped what, in what the core of Wallachia, went over to Byzantium. Is Wallachia going to be giving his victory card, uh, Byzantium's victory card to him? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, this would. So oh, yeah, I think he's doing that. He that one extra thousand points. I'm going to put Byzantium but, but, what, into but what, third. But what will Wallachia get Second, even. This? That'll put what? Byzantium into... Well, Wallachia's just helping out his ally from this. Wallachia doesn't have to get anything from it. Because yeah, Wallachia yeah. is currently on 108 points. Oh, yeah, actually. I, I don't think he can... Yeah, so Wallachia's yeah, probably looking at this thinking... Nah, I, I can't win this, but I'm going to help you win this, which, yeah, that's yeah, fair enough. I, I wonder why he's not helping John. Oh, John doesn't have victory cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, John has, Yon has a victory card on Moria, which is the one on Byzantium. But remember, if Byzantium loses that, he loses 500 score. So, I mean, well, if it Yon too, right? took it, he would be into second place. Uh, will Wallachia lose 500 score? Yes. Oh, what? Fars just uh, attacked Persia. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Fars has got 6,000 6, troops. He's going to be like, yeah. eating upon us. He's also at war with Prussia. <laughs> yeah, the Prussian AI. Which is not doing anything. I mean, Prussia has a nice economy. I mean, it, it, it is still playable. It is, but from the diplomacy, the diplomacy right. standpoint, yeah. And he couldn't make it today anyway, so. Yeah. But, I mean, I do feel he could have if he, you know, joined up with Savoy, maybe yeah, forgave maybe. the Balkans and went That's against maybe. Great Britain and Livonian order. That's a maybe. Yeah, so maybe. Yeah, it's just all down to diplomacy, and obviously, his diplomacy wasn't that good. He allowed yeah, himself Wallachia... to get diplomatically isolated. Wallachia sold every... Oh, no, there's, a, there's actually one more promise. Yeah, one more promise for Wallachia to give. But this also will boost the Polish culture uh, percentage. Yeah, that's, that's true. That is very much and true. How is he the getting on that? Convert. Yeah. He is currently culture converting to Ruthenian provinces. I mean, he can that do that fast, I think. He has admin points everything. Uh, it's diplo points to culture convert. Oh, did no, but he can't just end state. Uh, yeah, he state. could do, but... Yeah. It depends which one you want to do with your economy in the long run. I mean, yeah, Diplo, Diplo points is not that that uh, that important. Oh, even though if you're ahead on Diplo tech, you get that trade efficiency bonus. Yes, uh, twenty percent. But uh, only eight ducats of yeah, his income that. is from trade, so it's twenty percent of that. Yeah, it's not really that much. So yeah, it makes perfect sense doing it this way, especially with him be being behind an admin tech. He wants to be saving those admin points. Because this economy is not the best one. No. I mean... He doesn't have that trade. No, Wallachie is in a very precarious situation where he can't really get much money from trade. It's going to be mostly on tax and production. Yeah. And even then, it's... I mean, what trade he goods... He's he got some go. wine. He can he have trade. two provinces of coal soon. But yeah, you know, you can't really do much with trade unless he, he goes go to war with. Yes, and uh, take the twenty percent goods produced. Yeah, with the quantity, mm, that is maybe in it, maybe. But yeah. I feel he's doing just fine with what he's got at the minute. If 
he wants to go yeah, for anything I mean, with has... trade, he's going to have to go to war with, you know, with a player neighbour. And most probably yeah. your most lucrative trade node is going to be Constantinople. He has that alliance, so he's just fine because yeah. they're doing stuff together. So. Nothing to rock the boat. I moment. wonder if Fars is going to try and cut off Mughals from taking Persia. Maybe. That would make sense, too. And L Livonian Order and Cologne have gone in against Prussia. Oh, that, that was a truce break, too, wasn't it? Uh, no, I believe the truce was up in 54. So yeah, that's and also Cologne. Did did Cologne declare a separate war? Yes. Uh, yeah. Colonial conquest of Metz. No, he did not. Ah, uh, it was a war against uh, the Dutch, so that's why there was no. Adrian is paying so much to other people. Adrian is paying uh, to Livonian order to Mughals. Yeah. He's Eighty-four ducats worth. Congo and Rasids. Assets? Oh, it's his. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's supporting his subject. He also went for that Karamandel trade node, I think. Yeah. Uh, to. I mean, he's pushing 44 ducats worth into the uh, Gulf of Aden, and then 50 ducats down into Zanzibar. And nothing leaves Zanzibar. Zanzibar is 98 ducats in the middle, which I believe is the most profitable trade node. Yeah. It's the most profitable the, the trade, trade node. The trade company buildings is really great. The oh yeah. Goods produced. Very very powerful the trade company buildings. Oh yeah, that 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 boosts the economy really much. Ching is at war. Eating up those little Chinese yeah. nations. Yeah, I do wonder if we're going to see a war against the Ching Nepal Oda hook box. Maybe I don't see Wu can take them at this moment. Uh, Mughals, Golden Horde, Nagpur, Malaya maybe. Is it a hook box though? Yeah. Is, is it a hook box though? Uh, is Ching Nepal loader is a hook box, yes. Uh, along with the Serbia, Wallachia, and Byzantium hook box. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, they are just three three people from the same country basically, both Balkans and. So Malaya. Well, he's a bit to decide with his income, but he's doing quite well for himself. Wait, Ooh, his ideas Malaya and his already? tech needs to... He really needs to get those he ideas and Malaya, tech up. I never saw that. Yeah, he's just done it. Oh my god, look at Lang Chang's tech. How? The ruler is terrible, but still... I mean, Lang Chang's tech is... Mm, just, just, just worse than Malaya's. I think it's the worst in the game, actually. Uh, wrong, but it's Songhai actually is the worst. Uh, actually, it's the uh, Manny's little South American <laughs> nation. <laughs> then Songhai, then Inca, Langjiang, then Ireland. Malaya, Savoy to be expected, Nepal, Maya, Serbia. I mean, the highest the currently best. is Adjuran, Fars, and Cologne. Wow, Adjuran and Fars, and I would never expect that. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I don't know, it's just. I mean, I. Adjuran isn't I doing any wars know. or any conquests, he's got nothing to spend his yeah, admin that's or. Why he's probably. Dip on, you know, he's. doing very nice for himself. Savoy still hasn't managed to finish off Castile and is now falling apart to rebels. Castile is a 1 p OPM. Yeah, but Savoy has been bankrupt and he's not bankrupt anymore, but for majority of that war he was bankrupt. Uh, he's saving some money, so that's nice. Unless he's been gifted some, oh, maybe. Serbia is actually helping him with the rebels. Oh, good guy, Serbia. Yeah, very for betraying Prussia. But he's gonna need to help him out with those Aragonese separatists, or else that's all gonna flip to the British. But he can kill them. I don't. I don't. I don't see a problem. It's still fifty months or something. 
he has the blue deck ready, cool. So. Actually, it's only 8 months for one promise to defect, 12 months for another, 16 for another. Yeah, you're gonna need to sort them out, cause... Those back groups is really screwed him over. He, he wasn't in such a such a Yeah. Position. But, th especially with now Britain taking Southern France, I can definitely see the Balkan League propping up Savoy, or at least going to war with Great Britain at some point in the future. Is this a this is this Britain into France right now? Oh, what Britain forming France? No, 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 just oh. taking France. Oh, I mean they're already dominion over the north, so yeah. yeah, this is Britain basically saying, yeah, this is mine now. And Golden Horde is now also eaten upon the carcass of Persia, along with the Mughals. <laughs> 